It's coming up to the end of July. And when will elections be in Guyana? That is the question that is hanging over the country and on everyone's mind. As President David Granger has repeatedly assured, he and the coalition government will ensure that credible elections are held in Guyana at the earliest possible time. There can be no getting away from that. The issue is that some folks seem to want any elections. They have no interest in credible elections. They just want any elections. And in a badly held elections, there will be room for tampering with all aspects of the electoral process from start to finish. There are two outstanding fundamentals to holding credible elections. The first fundamental is that GCOM needs to have a chairman. There can be no elections if GCOM does not have a chairman. The second is that there must be a credible voters list. There's a lot of misinformation and fake information being circulated, but you should know the facts. Remember that up to a few weeks ago, GCOM had a chairman, and under that chairman, retired Justice James Patterson, the last local government elections were credibly held in November last year. The PPP boasted about how well it did in those elections and made no complaints about the elections not being credible. It was the PPP, not the coalition government, that went to court to challenge the appointment of Justice Patterson. They won the case and Justice Patterson resigned. If the PPP did not challenge the appointment of Justice Patterson, GCOM would now have had a chairman and we would have been moving along with the electoral process briskly. In its decision, the Caribbean Court of Justice ruled, and I quote, the leader of the opposition and the president must communicate with each other in good faith on and perhaps even meet to discuss eligible candidates for the position of chairman. The aim of these discussions must be to agree the names of six persons who fit the stated eligibility requirements and who are not unacceptable to the president. The leader of the opposition and the president must communicate and must agree the names of the six persons. Not should meet and agree or may meet and agree. Must. There can be no clear direction from the CCJ. But the CCJ ruling goes even further. I quote once again, In this regard, the Constitution anticipates that the leader of the opposition and the president will conduct themselves in a reasonable and responsible manner, eschew partisanship and seek the best interests of the Republic and the Guyanese people. As you know, several meetings have been held. But as is his usual modus operandi, the opposition leader does not appear to be acting in a reasonable and responsible manner, or in good faith. He does not want to find common ground and arrive at a consensual list of six persons. Consistent with how he's accustomed to operating, he wants to defy the CCJ and unilaterally name the six persons, which is against the Latin spirit of the CCJ ruling. On the other hand, President Granger, acting in accordance with the CCJ ruling, submitted first eight names, then narrowed it down to two names for consideration to be added to the list. The opposition leader rejected both names. If the opposition leader is so keen on elections and believes that his party can win the elections, then why is he acting to stall and delay the process of naming a new GCOM chairman? That is a question that he must answer. It is he who is stalling and delaying and holding up the process. The second fundamental for credible elections is that of a credible voters list. The life of the list came to an end in April of this year. The list was extremely bloated by over 200,000 entries. That list is a dirty list. It is a contaminated list. And the people who are calling for elections with that list are doing so because they believe they can use that dirty list to their advantage. A new list is needed for credible elections. The best way and the most thorough way of arriving at a credible list is to have house-to-house -house registration, which commenced over the weekend and has been proceeding smoothly. After this process is completed, new ID cards will be issued and we can get on with having elections at the earliest possible time. Now, there are some people who are telling you that you should boycott the house-to-house -house registration and not get registered. 
Well, my grandmother, who, by the way, died since 2011 and is still on the list, used to say, why pick sense out of nonsense? I am imploring you to pick sense out of nonsense. What sense does it make to boycott the house-to-house -house registration process and deny yourselves being on the list to vote when elections are held? Calls to boycott the house-to-house -house registration are foolish, irresponsible, and really outright idiotic. Every Guyanese has a constitutional right to vote in elections, and to qualify to vote in elections, you have to be on the voters' list. If you are not on the list, you won't be able to vote. Don't act set up by wild people calling on you to do foolishness. Know the facts and pick sense out of nonsense, as my grandmother used to say.